So, the football manager sent me this super sick swag. Check it out. They mailed it all the way to the colonies, you know. I really do appreciate it, though. It's some cool looking stuff. Uh, in honor of them sending some FM swag to the, the hidden FM gym, the person uh, that would be me. <laughs> we are going to do something entirely unrelated and talk about how these hidden features you didn't know about and I know about can help you win. Hit the gong! Or whatever that sound is before the Z comes up. What is it? And people ask me if you could get this uh, stuff. I don't think so. You can join their like their club thing and then they, they have a giveaway for it. But what you can get is the day that Football Manager drops, I will be opening a store uh, of merchandise, which I know you guys have asked about in the past and, and it's super soft. I wore it in a, I wore it in a different video. It, it's great uh, and it will have similar levels uh, of swag or uh, respectable refinement, depending on what you're going for. That's not what you clicked on the video for, right? You clicked to learn about hidden features that are going to help you win uh, in Football Manager. Of course, we're still working with the beta in Football Manager 21. It's essentially the complete game with a few uh, a few bugs that I would recommend, by the way, if you've started to save in the beta, I would recommend starting a new one because there's one that I know about that I know they're going to fix that is kind of game breaking and does actually make the game a little bit easier. <gasps> Gasp, Gasp. Gasp, gasp, gasp. It's a lot of gasping. But these features are unaffected by that and they will be in the complete game. The first one. Hey, you didn't expect me to get right into it. More right into it than I normally do. The first one is a thing called reminders. Oh, I, I know, I know, I know. I know. This is the football manager equivalent of your grandma telling you to get a personal scheduler. But hear me out, okay? Little pro tip, the day that you're at is, is highlighted and every day past that, you can create a note with a reminder on this day. It looks innocuous. If you don't know what that means, this is what innocuous is. Yeah, lexicon, birds. So even though this feature looks like that, it can actually completely save your Imagine for a second, you are trying to sign somebody on an end of contract and you fail in your first attempt to sign this person, which even in my definitely not infinite wisdom happens all the time. There are so many different things happening in Football Manager that a month from now, from that moment that you fail the contract negotiation, when all of a sudden you can go back and attempt the contract negotiation again, you will have forgotten to do it and you miss out on a great player. Well, if you, on the day that you mess up the contract negotiation, go set a reminder for a month from now, redo contract negotiation on Geo. Reina, you bumbling fool. Not bumbling foot. On December 24th, confirm. And now when I go look at my reminders, it's right there and will pop up in my inbox on this day, reminding me in no uncertain terms to negotiate that contract. You set some individual training for a month, but then you want to take it off a particular player because it's too intense for a long period of time. Tommy Hoban's gonna blow out his back if we stay double intensity. So a month later, I set a reminder, bang, bang. We take him off it. I forget to do things in Football Manager all the time. I need to take my own advice and use this reminder thing. Because on a specific day, you get an inbox message. It's like a text from your secretary uh, or your Google Home. After hacking every message you've ever sent, will tell you what you need to do. Buy milk. Sign Holland. And speaking of that lovely inbox, that's the next place that we are going to help you when a lot of stuff comes through here, you get very comfortable with all of the stuff that you're familiar with seeing, but we probably never clicked on this. And maybe you have to mark all as red, save as note, but have you ever clicked on filters? Do you know how much time you could save? I mean, we're talking about minutes here. I don't actually know how much time you could save, but to me, I literally didn't know this existed until last week. There's a filter at the top of the inbox. You can go down and just remove. You don't want to do the inductions at the beginning of the game. Beautiful. You don't care about your affiliates at all. Awesome. You'd save yourself so much time. You don't have to just hit and sit there and everybody's favorite like, one eternity later. Hey, we got to continue. Long gone are those days. 
filter out everything that you don't want to see in your inbox and you'd rather just check up on in your own time. Maybe by using reminders. The next feature that you probably don't know exists that will help you win is one that I have actually talked about before, and that is the clauses section. You go to transfer, you go to clauses. This section in here looks mundane on my Aberdeen save, but can save you or make you a lot of money. So you've gone through your save for a few years, you've got some different clauses on players that you've sold, on players that you've purchased, and at various times, clubs will make it known that they will have that clause bought out for less money. This works both ways. One, it's either a free instant cash cow for you, say they offered to pay you $2 million after 50 appearances. They say, what if we paid you 1.1 million right now? That works here and just can print out money obviously you have to be in a particularly interesting situation but that could i mean that so, the pff, words are on the way i promise that can change the whole aspect of a transfer window of your life in general if that happens for you and it, it works the other way uh, too you can buy a player put a clause in and then they can say, hey, we would take less money if we took it now. And you end up lessening the amount of money you had to pay for a transfer. This obviously costs benefits. Say you're on 25 appearances and a, the clause is for 50 appearances, you have to pay this much money. They're basically betting that they need that money more now than it is likely that they're going to get it later. And you're betting against it. I wish there was more negotiation involved in it. As you can see, there's either an option or there's not an option. And right here on the Aberdeen thing, there is no current option, but it will pop up right in this column that they were willing to make a deal. And it'll be a hard set amount of money. You either sell the clause or buy the clause and end that part of whatever transfer deal you've done, make or give away less money than initially planned. The next thing that's gonna help you win, we're going down to team report. And we're going over from the actual team report to your analyst report. Now the analyst report is, is loaded with something a little more visually appealing this year, which is your general performance graph that compares your ability uh, and your uh, performance analytically to the actual league average. This obviously allows you to see where you are better and where you are worse than you would like to be. And sometimes these results can be surprising. Now, of course, the inclusion of XG in Football Manager is copiously represented here. You have XG per game and XG against a per game. And obviously the higher in the XG against per game is a problem. And that is exactly where we are well above the Scottish Premiership average go us. You're in various competitions, you actually switch this up compared to the Euro Cup, compared to the, uh, this is the League Cup in Scotland. I can see our performances, obviously those contests, uh, competitions where you're only playing a couple matches, it's gonna be much more skewed. That's not the only interesting thing here though. You can go over to the left and break down some things that your analysts have pulled for you, like an actual analyst meeting. 12 of the 36 assists of the last 31 matches have come from just outside the penalty area. That, that's completely irrelevant information. I don't know what you could possibly do with that. On the other side, some of it is wildly useful for how your tactic is playing and can completely revolutionize the way that you're trying to play the game so 17 of the 31 goals we've allowed in the last 30 matches have come from deep positions deep long balls have been beating us over 50 percent of the time that's where the assists are coming from that's pretty groundbreaking information that you can use uh, to either close down the deep line playmakers on other teams better or, or to back your lineup or figure out a way to help out your center backs dealing with long balls. And as you click on these analysis sections, you actually get a sort of a visual breakdown uh, on the right side. It's not always a dead ringer visual breakdown. It's usually just th this kind of XG gasm that's going on, but you do have a couple of different options to check out where the assists are coming from. We're conceding those sorts of things. Great, useful stuff. Almost nobody looks at it. For our next little hidden feature that's gonna help you win, it's actually, it's not a hidden feature, it's a complete staff position that's being woefully underutilized by most people. We're going to transfers, general manager, and boom. So I have created a group, a group of players called the Dust Off Neron's uh, Trim, naturally. I, I heard FNG's trim was dusty. We just, Gonna try and sign some players to fix that. Some players with some excellent lettuce. I don't have excellent lettuce either. These power alleys, um, 
Yeah. The French Revolution wouldn't have happened if these were the alleys in Paris. Like 10 of you got that joke, but anyways. <laughs> <laughs> he got his history joke in. You can see more history jokes on Twitch. I stream on Twitch. Link's in the description. Okay. You can create a group for your general manager or director of football for most of you, according to the YouTube viewer analytics, most of you, it's the director of football, then normal or urgent. And then when you go to a player, if you are pawning off or at least allowing this person, uh, this general manager or director of football to participate in the transfer acquisition process, or right click on Hossam Ashur, go to transfer, add transfer target. Oh, what do you know? All of a sudden, we can add them to a different transfer target group. You can set groups by position, set groups by age, hot prospects, first team players, potential rotational players, and then end of contract or transfer. You can tell them what to go after. Now, this is super cool. I have never done this. I definitely want to use my general manager to do it in the future. And it is not even the only thing that is here, creating these different groups and allowing the general manager to go out and attempt to negotiate for these deals. Hopefully they finally learned how to negotiate a little bit. You can ask your general manager for a suggestion at any time. And when you ask for a suggestion, you get all the different transfer types, free transfer, under contract, loan, transfers themselves, any position that you want, and you will, boom, get a recommendation. If you don't have a very good scouting network, but you do have a, a guy like this, or you're about to go into a transfer window, your recruitment meetings kind of, and you wanted to figure something else out, you go here and you get a recommendation for free. Look, general managers and directors of football are pretty bad at actual contract negotiation. So you might want to take control of the actual contract negotiation. But in terms of the finding players, it never hurts to have an extra set of eyes. And I have had a lot of success using my directors of football and general managers in the past just to scour the planet for youth players and then allowing me to negotiate uh, the contracts. That's awesome. <laughs> Who doesn't want that? <laughs> well, me, because I have no money with Aberdeen. The last thing that's going to help you win is actually fairly difficult to find. But if you go to competitions and go to your main league, this will work in any competition, but the main leagues, which you're playing in most of the time, go to player detailed. Now on player detailed, I talked a little bit about this in the 50 tips video, but I just really want to stress there are advanced analytical stats for players. They're not even available on the actual player's screen yet, but they're in the game. They're underlying everything that's happening. Let me show you. You have key passes. You have key passes per 90. And while you can't pull this up on your individual player's screen, you can look at the competition's top 20 and find players that maybe you didn't expect. Ronald Hernandez, my right back, is 15th in the league in key passes per 90. He's arguably the best passing player on my team playing in the current position that he is. He makes 2.61 key passes per 90. He's 10th in total key passes. And I have three other players that happen to be on the list just so that I know that they're also really good passers. That's not the only fun thing. You've got your cross completion, crosses attempted, dribbles made. You've got dribbles per 90. And Matty Kennedy is third in the freaking league in dribbles per 90. He, almost, he has one, almost one dribble a game. Now, I wish you could pull this up on your player screen, and I'm sure somebody that makes a skin, maybe I'll sponsor a Zealand Analytics skin. I just came up with a great idea, and I'm totally going to do that. Hope to see in the comments saying, yes, I would use that. Where you can make a skin and put this on the player screen so that you can see the analytical stats a little bit more. I don't even spend enough time looking at this stuff. This is a great video for me to make for myself, to be honest. This, probably in the most obvious way, can just help you win. It informs you what players are succeeding and what players maybe like Andy Considine aren't. And you just got to tell them to get rid of the ball as quickly as possible. Tailoring your tactic to be the most effective game winner you can possibly be. I hope this helped a lot and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video, which of course is the face pack video. We will finally be revealing a project we've been working on for five, six months. Uh, I just gave them the tools and the team that I was able to put together has done a brilliant job. We've got an amazing face pack to show you and I look forward to that being the next video. I will see you there. <laughs>